And this one goes. This one goes this. So it's an E minor chord, but I'm really hitting an E5, so I'm hitting the, the first string with your thumb, and just the second and third string with your index finger and your uh, middle finger, and I'm putting the pick between my finger right here. And so I'm just going like this. First string, second and third string. So I'm just plucking. And then I go to a G. Same thing, so I go, uh, so I'm not really hitting these ones back here, but I'm just holding a G because I'm used to it. I uh, hold this uh, middle finger on the third fret to do a G, and then uh, first string, and then second fret, second string with your uh, index finger, and then the third string is just open, you know, if you don't even hold it. So, so, so I'm right there on that G, I'm just hitting the first string and the second and third string. And then I go to, uh, a C7 chord, C dominant seven, and uh, that is basically, a, I think of it as a pyramid. Like uh, there's a one here, a, a corner here, corner here. So middle finger here on the third fret, second string, middle finger or index finger on the second fret, second string, and then third finger on the th uh, fourth string, third fret, and then shape the pyramid. And two, three, so anyways, and I go, so, and I go, so I go, uh, thumb and on the second string, and then index in middle on the third and fourth, so I go, and then I just move down one uh, note from a C to a B, and I go, and I go second string with same thing. Second string, and this is a triangle, same exact chord, from a C7 to a dominant 7 to a B dominant 7. So, thumb, and then third, uh, middle finger and uh, index finger on the third and fourth string. So, and that's it. And that's halfway, and the second half goes. Same thing so far. But except for this time, instead of a C7, there's a regular C, or part of it anyways, and it's holding uh, third fret, second string, second fret, sec uh, third string, and then open on the fourth string, it goes with a thumb, index in middle, thumb on second string, and then index in middle on third and fourth going. And then I just hit a B5 right here, like a, a, a second index on the second string, second fret, and then uh, third finger on the fourth string, uh, I mean in third string, fourth fret. So. So, all together, those two parts go. Do it one more time, and then just stops. It's E minor chord. That's just the E minor chord backwards. That's it. And an E minor chord is uh, uh, basically everything's open except for you're going to put this middle finger uh, on the second fret. Or you could put any finger, really, you could put these fingers. But middle finger on the second fret, uh, third finger of uh, second string, and third finger on the second fret of the third string, and just going. And then it starts over with a you know, rock tone or whatever for the second half of the verse. And then for the chorus, it goes to C, and it's going. And that's a C which is a uh, third uh, fret, second string, and it goes one, two, hits it twice, and then it goes, and it hits the fifth fret, third string, and th so it goes, then it goes back to the C on the second string, third fret, then it goes on the thir third string on the fourth fret to the fifth fret, so, then again. And then it just hits a D chord here, which is the second string and third string, second, fifth fret, seventh fret. So it goes, and these are C, D, E, so. 
and all these rock songs are CDE, by the way, it's just about. So then, so then it's gonna go. Same exact technique, so seventh fret, seventh fret, second string, then a third string, ninth fret, back to the seventh fret, second string, then, which is uh, eight, nine, sorry, there's a lot of math here, so. Then again, then hit that D again. And it goes to the B. And it goes, and just a crescendo. So I just went from the B, B5, to a C, five. Which a B5 is second fret, second string, to the fourth fret, uh, and fourth fret, third string. I'm muting the first string, you know, and, and all the strings behind it. So. And then the whole song starts over to the second verse. And that's just the uh, third fret to the open. So, a hammer on. So you pick it, actually collect it, and then pull it off.